How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I've got to replace a pad for a condensing unit that's already in the field and it's operational. It's just deteriorated, it's old, and it's got to go. So with a little bit of ingenuity, it should be a piece of cake. Let's do some work. This video is brought to you by RLS. Original, patented, proven. Diversitech, helping you simplify your work. And by Infancon, providing accurate and reliable tools to HVACR technicians. So this is what we're working with today. Got a little condenser here and the pad you can tell is just deteriorated. It's all broken. So we want to install this new pad. So the question is how are we going to do that? Because I don't want to disconnect the refrigerant lines and have to deal with all of that just to replace the pad. And of course I'm here by myself. So I have to be able to suspend this unit somehow to be able to slide the old one out and, and slide the new one in. So that's why I have a 10 foot ladder and I have a hoist. Let's see if this works. All right, so I got everything connected here. Went ahead and put some zip ties to kind of hold this in place so it wouldn't slide around on me. And uh, this thing just barely clears. So it should work. Of course, I only need to lift the unit up, you know, an inch or so, just enough room to get this, slide the pad out. And you gotta slide that in, that's a three inch pad. That's probably about three inches as well, but um, anyway, let's see how this goes.
All right, so I'm pretty happy with this. The pad is actually good and solid because of all the condensation of water that's been pooling up right there. That's basically just mud. So with me extending the drain line over here, getting the water in, in the front of the pad, this is all gonna dry up. And I think what I'm gonna do, uh, because I'm not quite happy with the way that looks, I think I'm gonna come back with some gravel. I'm gonna fill all of this in with gravel even, even probably that backside a little bit where it's just all mud and, and, and maybe around the pad as well. I don't know yet, but at least get some and fill this area where all the mud is. Um, I think that's going to look a lot better, but man, this looks so much better than that. So yeah, I'm a huge fan of these plastic pads. Um, I've just been using them for years now and I really like how light they are and how robust and they just last a super long time. I actually just replaced one from a job where we did a change out and it was almost 20 years old and it was still in perfect shape. So it's definitely gonna last a long time. It's easy to install. One thing about Diversitech pads is that they offer like over 200 different styles. So whatever shape, size, or material that you're looking for, they make other, other material as well, not just the plastic. So. That's one good thing about Diversitech products is they offer so many different sizes and materials that no matter what job you're working on, they're going to have the size that you're looking for. So, and they care, you know, a lot of supply houses carry Diversitech. So at least in my area, in the middle Tennessee area, um, there are quite a few. So it's easy to get what you need, um, which makes my job so much better.
All right, so that went pretty smooth, man. I, I, you know, I just didn't know how well that was gonna go. I had that idea in my mind that uh, that it should work out well, but you never know until you actually put it in pl in place, right? And figure out if it's gonna work. So anyway, that worked out great. So that's a good uh, process to have for the future. If I need to swap out pads for condensers, the same situation. Um, just makes it super easy. Obviously. I need to come back once the puddle evaporates and it's not just a bunch of mud mush over there and I can pour down some gravel and kind of make it look a little bit better, but I'm going to wait till um, it all dries up. So come back probably in a couple days, but I'm pretty happy with how simple that was. I mean, that's really what it's all about is trying to, to be, you know, to think smarter and not work harder. Right. Um, so I'm just thankful that I had the tools that I needed to be able to do that and it was a breeze. I could just do it all by myself, no problem. So that's one thing I love about being in this industry is we just have so much opportunity to really think outside the box. Every job is different. Um, and if you really kind of tap into that, you can really have fun and really enjoy your job. Even though it's hot, you know, you're out working in the elements. Once you kind of get past that, that mental fog of, you know, it's hot outside and you don't want to really want to be doing that. And you tap more into the process of what you're doing. You can really have a good time. You can have fun with your job and it's not going to be such a drag, but it takes, it takes patience, a lot of patience, right? Because it is hot out here. You want to be done. You want to get back in the van uh, and move on to the next job or go home or whatever the situation is, but you're missing out. That's, that's a key takeaway. That's something I've been focusing on lately is being more intentional with the smaller things in life and, you know, enjoying the process. Not just, I need to hurry up and get done so I can enjoy being home or enjoy being somewhere else. Um, this is my life and I don't want to let my life pass by. Anyway, just, for, uh, just, I wanted to share that, you know, because this, this has been on my mind lately. But anyway, um, customer's going to be happy. I'm happy. We'll get it cleaned up a little bit better with some uh, gravel. Should be good to go for now. Well, I hope you guys got something out of this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And of course, see you on the next one.